Hello students today we will learn about atoms an atom is the basic building block of chemistry it is the smallest unit into which matter can be divided without releasing electrically charged particles also is the smallest unit of matter that has the characteristic properties of a chemical element for example n a h e and h it is also the smallest particle of matter which takes part in a chemical reaction for example co2 gives c plus o2 in this reaction the atoms involved are c and o before discussing anything further let us talk about the structure of an atom as you can see at the center a nucleus with all protons and neutrons is present while electrons revolve around the nucleus in a circular path as we are clear with the structure of the atom let us see about the characteristics of the atom which are it is always an uncombined form of matter it contains a nucleus and electrons they are highly reactive and are subject to certain exceptions net charge net charge of an atom is always zero but when it is converted into ions based on the number of electrons and protons the charge will be determined if electrons are more then it will acquire a negative charge while if the proton count is more then it will acquire a positive charge along with these to understand the atom we should also be familiar with a few terms which are atomic number it is the number of protons present in the atom it is denoted by z mass number number of protons plus number of neutrons it is denoted by a atomic mass atomic mass is also known as atomic weight atomic mass is the weight average of an element based on the natural abundance of that element's isotopes now an often asked question is how mass number and atomic weight differ from each other the mass number is the sum of neutrons and protons present in an atom while atomic weight is the average of the ratio of different isotopes present for a given element mass number doesn't have isotopes in the calculations while for atomic weight all isotopes are included mass number is always a whole number the same is not true about atomic weight a term that is closely associated with atomic mass is an isotope what do you mean when we say isotopes isotopes differ in the number of nucleons due to the different number of neutrons in their nuclei atomic mass is usually associated with average atomic mass which is defined exactly as the average atomic mass of an element is the sum of the masses of its isotopes each multiplied by its natural abundance The formula for finding average atomic mass is the summation of isotopes and their respective natural abundance divided by total natural abundance. To understand this better, let us take two examples related to average atomic mass. Chlorine consists of two major isotopes, one with 18 neutrons, 75.77% of natural chlorine atoms. and one with 20 neutrons 24.23% of natural chlorine atoms and the atomic number of chlorine is 17 now the average atomic mass of chlorine is equal to 75.77 into 35 plus 24.23 into 37 divided by 100 as it is the percentage which will be equal to 35.48 amu Next question is what will be the atomic mass of lithium having two naturally occurring isotopes 
6 LI and 7 LI with a relative abundance of 7.49% and 92.51% respectively to solve this question we have to use the formula for finding the average atomic mass now the average atomic mass of lithium is equal to 7.49 into 6 plus 92.51 into 7 divided by 100 as it is the percentage thus it will be equal to 6.941 amu the atomic mass mentioned above can be represented in different ways the numerical value in all these cases will be the same but units and also the way by which they are defined will differ first is the average atomic mass or atomic mass the second is the relative atomic mass next is gram atomic mass and the last one is molar mass the first one is the average atomic mass as you already know the average atomic mass of an element is the sum of the masses of its isotopes each multiplied by its natural abundance by the total natural abundance its unit is amu or dalton next is relative atomic mass or ram of an element is the number of times one atom of an element is heavier than 1 by 12 the mass of c12 atom as it is the ratio of two atomic masses it becomes dimensionless which means no unit after this it is the gram atomic mass the amount of an atom whose mass in gram is numerically equal to its atomic mass is called gram atomic mass the unit of gram atomic mass is the gram last is molar mass the molar mass of an atom is the mass of the atom which contains one mole of the atom the unit is gram per mole as we reach the end of the module let us summarize firstly we learned about an atom atom is the smallest unit that can be divided without the release of electrically charged particles then we moved on to the characteristics of the atoms which are it is always an uncombined form of matter it contains a nucleus and electrons they are highly reactive and subject to certain exceptions next the average atomic mass of an element is the sum of the masses of its isotopes each multiplied by its natural abundance by the total natural abundance followed by relative atomic mass or ram of an element is the number of times an atom of an element is heavier than 1 by 12 the mass of c12 atom after that comes the gram atomic mass the amount of an atom whose mass in gram is numerically equal to its atomic mass is called gram atomic mass lastly the molar mass of an atom is the mass of the atom which contains one mole of the atom